Let's go top, let's go. Go top, let's go top, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Folks, we're going to be congregating right about this area. Folks, today is National Go Topless Day. I want everybody to say, hey. I didn't hear you. That wasn't loud enough. I want to make sure, excuse me, partner. Excuse me, thank you, man. You're kind of right in the middle of what's going on here. If you can get, you guys can just give these people a little bit of space. Ladies out there. If you believe that you should have the same rights as men and you should be able to go topless whenever you feel you want that option, raise your hand. Hi, I'm Chrissy. Where are you from? Venice, actually. I'm a local here. I'm originally from Mississippi, though. Why are you here without a top on? I love the human body. I think it's a beautiful nurturing experience to be able to express yourself without having to confine yourself to clothing or fashion lines or I have to wear Gucci to fit in. I think my body's beautiful and I don't mind being beautiful in my own skin. But why in public? Why in public? Because we should be allowed to. This is the most beautiful beach in California and this is the most freeing city in California and I should be able to go swimming and be in the nude and be able to be comfortable with myself. I hope you get this. Do you suppose uh, that men would be able to control themselves around topless women? I think it's all a repression thing. The reason they don't uh, control themselves, the reason they're here everywhere with cameras is because they don't get to see it all the time. They think it's some kind of glorified, put on a pedestal thing for a woman to put her chest out there. It's just natural human body. Yeah, but isn't it an eroticized part of the human body? Well, anything can be eroticized. You know, turn of the century, the ankle was considered very sexy. Women weren't allowed to show their ankles. So maybe next turn of the century, no one will care about ankles and no one will care about breasts. Do you suppose that we should uh, only limit this to the beach or do you, you see it more throughout society in general? Well, I think it should definitely be throughout society in general. Me personally, I want to be free on the beach doing yoga in my own body. I think it should definitely be something that we should have the right to do. Not necessarily have to do, but certainly have the right to do. Is this a French notion of topless on the beach? No, it's not. It's an American constitutional way of looking at things. In other words, women and men in this, at this moment in the United States have the right to go topless everywhere, but women don't have the right. And so this is why right now we are standing up, whether we were born in France or in Iraq or in, uh, you know, uh, Greensboro, North Carolina, we are standing up for women's right to go topless because uh, it's, it's on the basis of uh, gender equality. Would any, uh uh, sexual attacks upon women that come as a result of this be on your hands? But there won't be. Um, we have to go back to the 1950s or maybe in the 1900s when uh, you know the fashion changed and more parts of the women were able to be shown. Um, the, the society, the mentality changed at the same time. Um, I also want to say that this, the Go Topless uh, movement, was started by spiritual leader Rael of the Raelian movement. Women need to be able to have the choice about anything in life. And so whether it's going topless or abortion or who they choose as their mate, um, I feel very strongly that freedom of choice is what makes America. So that's why I'm here. Um, personally, I think that they're talking about women going topless, and honestly, I think that's ridiculous. I think that you need to keep your shirt on. That is not what our country is. Heck no. He said this was crazy. See, people, and it's, and it's ridiculous that the men of this world have to just go and say, let's take off our shirt. Just look at porn. You pay for it. You're not paying for me to take off my shirt for free. Heck no. But, but there are women behind this movement. This is yeah, a women's movement. That's ridiculous. If you're a woman behind this movement, that really says something about your character. Yeah. You agree with the idea of women going topless on the beach? Yeah, I'm all for it. Yeah. You think it's dangerous for women? Why would it be? Men who couldn't control themselves. Well, you got to ask the woman that because they want to have it. That's right, folks.
You think they're thinking it all the way through? That would like to make a statement. No. Any ladies? Not really. You know, I support this fully. You know, I I don't see what's wrong. We're in the sunshine. I mean, all the skin showing. What's wrong, man? You know, I'm a you know I enjoy taking stuff off myself. I don't see why anybody else can't do it. You know. You think you'd be tempted to, to grope somebody? Oh man, definitely. You know, anybody who wants to support it. You know, uh, I'm looking. <laughs> and I believe that all women should be able to do it, but only if you're good looking enough. I don't think there should be ugly women walking around. I think there should be somebody who has to judge them and they have to be given a license to do it. Like I'm good looking enough because the rest of the people I don't want to throw up. And who should be the judge, Jenny? I think that there should be, I don't know, maybe celebrities could do it. Whoever wants to get in on it, Barack Obama, John McCain, I don't care. Chris Christie, I'm from Jersey. I think he could do it. He's fat, so I don't know. He might pick all the fat girls. There is a couple new new beaches on I, the Jersey Shore. So. I live next to Sandy Hook, and they it have Gunnison Beach, which is a famous beach for nudeless people. And it is possible. I'm a waitress in a seafood restaurant there, so I have my tables come in. They're like, I was just at Gunnison Beach. I'm like looking at them like, I feel so bad for the other people on that beach. <laughs> some of the people, it's awful. Oh, all the waitresses are very pretty. And they have gone, some of them have actually gone to the beach because they like to not have tan lines, so they like to go to the Gunnison Beach. So, But I feel bad for them. I've only gone there once, and it's just creepy.